I replaced one of my dead light bulbs recently with a well-reviewed dimmable LED bulb. It's well-reviewed because it has a CRI of 90, which means it produces beautiful natural looking light. I'll leave a link in the description below this video if you want to check out these bulbs. Unfortunately, when I turned on the light, I immediately noticed a lot of flickering. Something was wrong. I discovered that it was simply because my old dimmable light switch was not made for dimmable LED bulbs. So I jumped on Amazon and found a well-reviewed dimmer switch that is made to work with dimmable LED light bulbs. I'll leave a link for that item as well. It comes with directions, four twist-on wire caps, two short screws, a snap-on light switch plate, which allows the screws to be hidden, four wires, an on-off rocker switch, and a dimmer slider, as well as two long screws. Rather than hire an electrician, I just installed the light switch myself to save some money and I'll show you how I did it. Note, what I'm about to show you is how to wire a light switch with one light and one switch. If you have a different configuration, like two or three light switches or multiple lights, this video is not for you. We are doing a single pole installation, by the way. Also, if you are uncomfortable with installing electrical equipment, hire an electrician. Electricity can cause serious injury or death if it's handled the wrong way. First, go to your electrical breaker box and turn off your electricity. Failing to do this step could cause serious injury or death. Next, unscrew the two short screws holding the light switch plate. Then pull the light switch plate off the wall. Next, remove the two long screws. I'll use a cordless battery powered screwdriver to save some time. Pull the old light switch out of the wall without touching the ends of the wire or screws. As an extra precaution, you can use a voltage detector to make sure that your power is really off. It's battery powered and warns you if there's still power on, usually with flashing lights or sound. Follow the manufacturer's directions carefully. I've used my breaker box a bunch of times and I know that my power is off, so I'll skip this step. As you can see, we have three wires, a ground wire, a red wire, and a black wire. Unscrew these wires and pull them off of the old light switch. I'm going to use pliers to straighten out the ends of each wire. Now I will connect the green wire from my new light switch to the ground wire from the wall using a twist on wire cap. Next, I will connect the red wire from the new switch to the red wire from the wall, also using a twist on wire cap. Then I will connect the black wire from the new switch to the black wire from the wall, using another twist on wire cap. The new light switch I bought has an additional red wire that I do not need to use. It's for a different wiring configuration called a three-way. I'll cap it with the last twist on wire cap for safety. Carefully tuck the wires back into the wall, making sure they all stay connected together. Insert the two long screws into the box in the wall. Now I will turn my power back on. As you can see, the light switch works and the LED light can be dimmed without any flicker. This light switch also has an additional control dial that sets just how bright your dimmer is at its lowest setting. Adjust it to your desired lowest brightness level. It's up to you. Next, attach the inner part of the light switch plate onto the new light switch using the two short screws. Then place the outer part of the light switch plate onto the inner part of the plate. It should snap into place, 
I like this design because no screws are visible. That's it. Remember, if you open up your wall and discover wiring that is completely different than my wiring, you may need to call an electrician or find a different YouTube video for help. With electricity, it's always best to play it safe. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.